Hi. In today's video, we're going to teach you how to develop great touch in your game, and we're going to teach you a skill that has become very popular on the professional tour in recent years, particularly by Roger Federer, who has who's developed this great skill at coming to the net and playing half volleys that his opponents are unable to get to. Very tricky shot, great shot to learn, and we're going to teach you how to do that today, and we're also going to show you how this skill translates into almost everything you do in your game. Here we go. This is a shot that Roger Federer makes look easy. You think you can't do it? Think again, because you can't. We're going to show you how. Watch carefully. Very first thing we need to do, first of all, is make sure that we get the continental grip. You've all heard of this grip, the continental grip being called the hammer grip as well. You just get the hand right on top of the racket, with the butt right on top, one on either side, and you've got a controlled, firm racket continental grip. You want to have soft hands, but firm wrist. That's the key to half volleying and to volleying and to every other shot we're going to show you as we go further ahead. So let's demonstrate how this works. It's kind of fun, something you think you can't do. You'll notice as we go into this, I use my legs slightly to flex, and I pick up from the ground up gently with my racket, and the shoulder just lifts it up so easy, it just pops over the net. I don't lose the balance, I just keep in the same balance. I keep moving the feet, I move over to it. The skill is always here, and we've got touch. What are we learning very here? Advanced. When, we're, when we're playing the shot, what are we really learning here? What's gonna, how's this gonna help me along the way? You're learning to control the ball through balance, the hands being soft, the power coming in the shoulders to get the control of the ball. You notice that the ball doesn't go flying when we do it. We just touch it very gently, and that touch is power. The more touch and the power on the shoulder comes in there, the more control and power we have in every shot. And you're going to find that out later. Even in this skill, it's very important. And when you say power, you mean really, truly control, which more can control. be power or it could be soft, That's right. but it's the power That's really right. is the You can go from in power from 100 miles an hour to 20 miles an hour. And the same thing is happening. It's just how much you want to generate gotcha. and how you generate that. Right. But you don't hit the ball. You touch it. So we need to find, you need to find a partner and mm -hmm. get out here and work on this skill and, and keep going. Keep touching this ball and learn how this will translate into staying calm as you play. Get so much feel. Just keep balance and keep a rhythm. Don't stop. Don't stand still. Keep moving the feet. Keep moving. Keep the balance. Keep the skill alive. I'm learning here. I really feel like I'm learning how to just time, anticipate and time this ball off the court. So when this does happen to me in a match, I am not going to panic at this ball at my feet. I'm going to know how to stay calm so and feel all. the ball up and over the net. Welcome to our second segment on developing a great half volley. And in this segment, we're going to teach you how to use more advanced footwork so that you can cover uh, greater widths at the net and maintain your balance and control and still touch that ball beautifully over the net. Here we go. Okay, we're coming into an area where we need to get the feet to help the half volley become reality. That's what it's all about, making the feet move, and it's the same thing in all the shots that we do. And the movements that you did in the first part of the uh, half volley with just standing and moving and getting the touch and the feel, we're now going to show you how you actually move the feet to get the volley, how you recover, and how it becomes real. Okay, watch very closely. We're going to start in the middle. Right in the front, with the continental grip, the same as we did before. Nice soft hands. Ready? You notice John's just keeping the balance, getting timing, moving to the ball, getting a feel of touch, keeping the balance, and recovering. No stopping. Just pausing, gliding onto the shot, coming through it, balancing. Now he's Doing a movement now, coming back to the center, because that's where I'm standing at the moment. But in reality, he would come back and control the court. And we're going to show you an idea of how that works. And that's why, even with the half volley you get and control the court, it's very difficult for anybody to pass you or beat you. All right, so here we go. We go there. And we come back, and we control the court. And now he's waiting for the ball. If that person even gets it, and he's on top of it, and everybody's afraid of what to do. And the ball's dying at the same time. So. Tremendous skill. It gives a balance, timing, control, everything that the half volley is all about. And if That's we elaborate on that a little bit and break the footwork down, 
you'll notice that really once I push off and go onto the ball, fall onto the ball, foot, the left foot to play the ball, my back foot has to come through to balance me, hold me, and I play through that shot. Uh, I think a traditional volley instruction and so forth, it's more of a process where they land and then they push back, right. or they land and they don't go beyond that. They don't know what's really supposed to happen. Exactly. But in reality, even on the volley, I'm going to land on the left and then balance on the right to come right. back like that. Yes. That actually is a very natural move and a powerful move to control the court as well. And, and you're not going to have any time to worry about getting injured at the same time. You're always flowing. The body's in total rhythm. It's a great exercise. We so now we're going to show you the backhand. Yeah, we feel the backhand. Great. You notice how soft everything is going over the net. The ball is just touching John's racket very softly on the shoulders coming up. And he's got the touch to just lift that ball right off the ground. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and the same thing goes again now when you want to control the court. So now he came back to the center, yes, because I'm here at this moment, but that's just an exercise we're showing you. If you were in reality coming from a ball that had been put over there, you would be playing the shot there, the person would be over there, and that person would have to come across to get that ball, and you're totally in control of the court. So that's where your body balances immediately for half volleys, and it also is going to show you how it takes care of the volleys later on. And you know, this footwork uh, really enables me to cover at least 80% of the, of the net without losing my balance or bending or stretching or reaching. I can just move, I can get to a ball, stay up, stay balanced, move, get a ball. So I can get almost everything within reasonable range of me. Exactly, yes. and also another area that you're gonna find out is when we do this actual movement, we've gotta play the ball before we actually move the feet into the position. In other words, when we go down and we go to the ball, if it's wide or it's further away than we really anticipate, We've actually got to spring and play the shot just as the leg goes down so we balance it. There's no waiting to see it come. We're actually playing the shot just as we balance and we're back in the same position. We're always in the half volley. So it's a, it's a rhythm of feet and contact oh, point that sort of follow to, together. It's beautiful for them flow, no getting injured, having fun, making it look like skill of Roger Federer. Can I do a couple back and forth, see what that feels like? Sure. So we go. And you see how I just move from one side to the other? And watch this, we'll just do it backwards and forwards a different way. We'll go here, and we'll go back again, and then we'll come here, and he's already got that in total control. Yeah. Practice. So start out Great. with the segment number one with your practice partner. Get the feel of that half volley in a, in a stationary position, and then try to start implementing this footwork pattern, and you'll find out how this will feed right into, into your volley skills as well. Here's the final segment on the half volley and how you're going to use this shot in match play and make it look almost like Roger Federer, the way he plays it. And in this case, you're going to be moving forward to come to the net anticipating a volley, and yet your opponent's going to play a ball at your feet, and you're going to learn how to adapt to that ball at your feet, play that little touch half volley, and turn it into a beautiful winner. Here we go. Here Ian is moving forward after his approach shot. He does a split step to adapt to the ball and then softens the hands. Drops the ball over the net for a gentle winner. Split, balance, touch. Here I come forward. Split, balance, soft hands, and touch. Lift, split, soft hands, and maintain balance and stay calm at all times. Split, soft hands, maintain balance. As a final piece to the development of your half volley skills and how it translates into the volley, we're going to show you an exercise that you can do that's a little bit more dynamic, pretty fun, and it really starts to develop your, your skills at the net, your hand and your feel of your hands at the net. Watch this. Here we go. This is fun. Okay. Here we go, the half volley, which we did before. And all of a sudden, we're going to bring this up and we're going to... So what we did was we just came from here for the half volley. As we got up here, we we're actually at the height of a medium height volley, just keeping it going and keeping that level there. Go, go, go. And we've got control of a, a volley beginning. All right, so we'll try one more. Now we come up and we keep it up. 
We keep it up. We keep it up. And we have a half volley if we need it. <laughs> right? So we so got a half volley. And then we got a volley. We keep it up. You can practice the skill all the time. It's a lot of fun. Sorry. Good. I could also use this as an exercise to, to make judgments on whether it's a volley or a half volley, correct? That's right. So I can make, exactly. I, it helps me to make quick decisions as to whether I'm going to be playing the ball out of the air. Exactly. Whether or it's a half volley versus a volley. This is another volley, a half volley. Should have been a volley. Uh, it should be a volley, right. Yeah, exactly. I got behind my feet, didn't it? Right. Here we go again. And one. And we volley. We keep it up. We keep a half volley. Oh, oh. no. I'll get a half volley on that one. One. A Tough half. one. <laughs> That's a tricky low volley. Yes. So a half volley would probably be better. So we play the volley. And we keep that going. Play there and here, and all of a sudden we're into volleying and movement with the same idea as we started with the half volley. Yeah, ah. don't, don't try this one. No. Okay. Don't get into fancy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so have fun with that. You can play the half volley stationary. You can start to work the footwork. You can move forward and play it, and then of course you can you can inter interject some volleys in there too and have a little fun with that. That's right. Yeah. All it's right. Part of the development of the whole movement, starting off with the footwork to the half volleys playing the volley ideas with the footwork, and then playing the volley itself, which comes a lot of fun. Work on it. Okay, have fun. <laughs>